Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a setup file in Visual Studio 2015. By default, we uh, don't have the Visual Studio template setup uh, templates available in Visual Studios. So you need to download the Visual Studios 2015 MSI project templates. Uh, you can search it and. Uh, this installer projects you can download them and just install it I have already downloaded and installed them so I'll not do that let's create a simple uh, new project and uh, uh, let's build a C sharp Windows Forms application test setup give it a name and then click OK in this tutorial we are going to see how can we build uh, or include a setup project inside this uh, with this uh, current Windows Forms project. Uh, I'm not going to show you how this form is working just for the purpose of our own and uh, learning. Let me create a simple. This is a form, and let me drag and drop some buttons, and uh, uh, let me say. A label just for showing this that I just want to click on this and uh, label one dot text is equal to my name for example this is just uh, to show that this is working or not let me run this and check it yes it's fine working fine congratulations and I want this one to be in uh, release mode and now I'm going to add right click on the solution add add a new project into this uh, solution go to this uh, other project types and we have visual studios installer and click the setup wizard so let me remove this one and click OK click next and here uh, just click on create a setup for a windows application and uh, since we are going to create for a primary uh, click on this uh, primary output for test setup that the current project contains a dll or exe by default inside it if you want to have additional files into it you can add them currently i don't have so let me click on finish button so when you click uh, here on the project you can see different views the file system that the application folder that uh, it will be uh, installed in user desktop or anything that you want you can also see the the changes that you want to make to the registry file or the file uh, types or target machine where you want and a different sort of user interface for example here what you will install you will select the installation this one says welcome screen installation folder confirmation similarly for the active administration uh, I'm going to leave them as it is I'm not going to change anything into it launch condition and you can say that what sort of dotnet framework is required if it is not present which URL will be, will be presented to go to and the message you can actually make it something like uh, a lower uh, version of the dotnet framework in order to make sure that it is running on on that the next thing that i'm going to show you is sorry the properties which actually display down here some of these properties you can have an icon of your project if you want let me show you by adding you can say some sort of uh, an icon from here I had a, I downloaded an icon somewhere just to show you if it is not mandatory okay I have a tree icon over here and I'm going to add it and it say okay this will be the icon that will be auto so default uh, company name for example this uh, let me give it a name like uh, net installer just a name for it 
and you can add the description this is my first installer give it a name detect newer installed version you can make it true or false if you want to make it to be installed for all users we you can I just put it true it is default English manufacturer it is uh, a J div express okay a J div x just uh, if you have a manufacturer URL and this specifies uh, if you want to uh, specify any commands to execute after this build at the moment I am not changing anything this is the product code and this is basically the Microsoft or the Windows requirement for this number of characters that our code will be uh, represented and just give it a name like net installer it's okay uh, or okay it's net installer and other things keep the version as it is title setup and platform and it looks okay I do not change it and save this thing and what I want to do is I want to build this test application it is already updated and now I want to build setup application and uh, it will take a bit of time uh, while it is building so it is packaging different files that are required and uh, you can see this is succeeded and uh, to see that let me right click on that open folder in the explorer and uh, go to release and we have a setup here so I can use this setup so xxaj developer express it's okay next and click on yes and i hope it is installed go to program files and aj dev express net installer and then we have test set so this is the application that i had created and it is now uh, installed on my system as well so thank you so much for watching this video